Well guys, got a little bit of a video for ye, a little bit of a treat. Um, it was actually a little kit that was donated to me uh, by a friend of mine, uh, Mr. Dwayne, um, callsign VO1 Alpha Alpha Bravo. And um, you see, there's a bunch of, there's like four boxes of uh, various parts and equipment um, and a bunch of paperwork that was also given to me with it uh, and from what I could read up about it uh, it's actually made produced by a, uh, a company that has now gone out of business as of 2002 I believe it started back in the 1920s, 1930s. It was a United States uh, based company. And basically, it they done a bunch of uh, courses through mail, <coughs> such as you know elect electronic courses and stuff like radio uh, courses, electronic courses, that kind of thing, right? And uh, the company's name was NRI. Was the name of it, and uh, you still get some of those uh, the kits uh, from the studies. You still buy some of them on eBay, and what I was donated is a small, small piece, a small section of that of, of those training kits. So that's what this video is going to be about. So what we we'll go through first is some of the paperwork that was donated to me with this equipment. It's uh kinda wish this NRI was uh, still uh, a company. I think I'd actually go for this this courses that they offered. Anyways, so here we are. Your introduction to hands on training. A taste of things to come. It was a uh Give you a couple little course, little uh, projects, little test jigs and stuff you put together, and uh, diodes, resistors, capacitors. Right. The NRI Discovery Lab. Unfortunately, that is that was not part of this uh, this donation. Unfortunately, but. Uh, it would be nice to come across that, but one of these days, you never know. All different transistors, transistor types, uh, their part number, drawing numbers. Just a bunch of transistors you would have gotten with the kit. And uh, with this is sections. Uh, these here are still sealed. Uh, these training kits, there's a bunch of them here. None of these have ever been opened. They're still sealed. So you got training kit 5DM, transistor amplifiers and circuits. Contents, you got an introduction, assembly to discovery lab, perform experiments one through 10, parts list. And of course you get mail-in, mail-in forms and stuff. That looks come with them. So that's training kit 5DM. Then I got another one here, training kit 2DME, which is measurement and DC circuits ohmmeter operation. Using your digital multimeter, perform experiments 1 through 7, ohms law. Perform experiments 8 through 10, ohmmeter operation, parts list. And of course again, in the back of it, you get your mail-in forms. Then you have another training kit for DM, power supplies, and transistor form, uh, uh, fundamentals, contents, introduction, <coughs> preliminary uh, assembly, performing the experiments, typical filter networks, voltage doublers and regulator circuits, assembling the dual voltage regulator power supply, then you got parts list, the 
preliminary uh, assembly, performing experiments, blah, 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 blah. Again, you get your uh, papers. Then you have training kit 1DM, basic practices, old law, measuring voltage, preparing your experiments, learning to solder, using schematic diagrams, series circuits, parallel circuits, introduction to transistors, and parts list. And then there was this one, training kit 3DM, resistors, capacitors, and inductors in AC and DC circuits. This one was actually opened, so I had a binder here in the house, so I said I'd put it, put it in this binder so I'd have it all loose and lose it. And this one is, of course, your introduction, measuring uh, RC time constants, building AC voltage dividers, using vectors to combine AC uh, quantities, mounting the choke coil, part list. And just to give you an idea of what's actually in these, in the uh, kit manual, there's a bunch of uh, how-to's, you build the little circuits and stuff, tells you how to assemble your, your plates and your terminal strips and stuff. It's actually very interesting. We can probably do another video later on if you want me to. Do a more in-depth review, probably even going through some of these uh, some of these experiments. If you guys are interested in that, we can actually go through these if you like. We'll do these experiments one by one. This is something you'd like me to do. I'm most certainly uh, be up for it. Yeah. So we got training kit 3DM, training kit 1DM, training kit 4DM, training kit 5DM, and of course your introduction to hand on training. That's all the paperwork that I have with this that was donated to me. So now we'll go through what everybody likes, and that's the components that were supplied. So the training kits, uh, these aren't labeled as what is what here, but uh, <clears throat> not that I know anyway. <clears throat> I haven't had a man, I haven't had a chance to uh, you know, go through all the boxes and figure out what parts belong to what um, to each one of those uh, those kits. So, first one just came in a regular box NRI still got the mailing address and everything on it. <clears throat> so this one also came with another. There we go. Another actually another manual. Training kit C or 6CM digital techniques and modulation. So it'll be an interesting one to go through as well. Actually, I'm going to put that one in the blender. With the rest of the uh, training kits. So. This is what's in box number one. So some of the parts are obviously are missing. This is a kit that's been around since like 1981, 82. We're into the uh, labeling on the uh, on the sheets there. But uh, got a package of wiring. LED display, a few ICs, and that's a sealed package, so that has never ever been opened. <laughs> so we got a few uh, few resistors running all along here, and we even got a audio cassette tape that has never ever been used. So it's going to be interesting to uh, to listen to that one, which I can all, which I'll also do here. Understanding digital multimeters. NRI Action Audio. So that was in uh, box number one. It's uh, pretty, pretty cool. Some of the ICs here. It came with the kit. 
Uh, of course, the LED display. We have a uh, A bunch of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight, eight different chips here. So we'll get the, uh, we'll go, we'll go through these later. We we'll get some close-up video pictures of all, of all of this. I'm sure you're gonna love to see it. So that's in uh, box number one. to box number two inside another action learning kit from NRI the only identification on the boxes is 3DM109 so I'm assuming the this this corresponds to the uh, to the manuals I'll we'll have to go through that and figure out but I'm pretty sure that's probably what it is so inside this one Pieces. We have an aluminum plate. We have AC cord, some hardware, a couple of resistors, some capacitors. And that one. And that's from the bottom of the box. So we've got a couple of. Uh, we've got a transformer. A uh, plate choke or a choke transformer right here. Still in the packages, never used. So that's uh, that's what's in that box. That's in, that's in the box uh, 3DM. Another action learning kit from NRI 4DM201. Again, I'm not sure if all the components are with these kits or not. This one has a few. Uh, looks like we got some capacitors missing here by the looks of it. But we got a bunch of resistors. We got some transistors over here on this one. We have a bunch of uh, wire hookup wiring, hardware, still sealed, never used. And then we have this entire section here that has never ever been opened. So we have three switches here, capacitors, and a couple of zener diodes looks like, a couple of bunch of resistors, transistors, LEDs. Uh, switch, two switches, uh, IC sockets, and we have a box of tie point blocks. So there's 20 of them. NRI Action Learning Kit. That's, uh, it's interesting to have a kit this, this old. I still have everything still in it. A lot of it, anyway. See everything. <laughs> I'm not sure it's got everything. And then we've got the inside your first NRI action learning kit right here. And that's a 1DM110. So what we have is this one. We have another aluminum plate. And some more components. This one got some hardware, uh, three terminal strips, variable resistor, potentiometer, uh, mount for that I'm assuming. And what's cool with this, <laughs> it's still got three D-sized batteries, still in the package, never used. We've got a small unused circuit board, unpopulated, unsoldered, the NRI, um, Dual on training is a dual polarity regulated power supply. And over here, a bunch of resistors. We got some uh, solder. 
one more hookup wire and terminal strips right here that's all in that one so that's uh pretty cool I'm thinking to have this stuff in this training course so it's gonna be interesting if you guys are interested in having a really close up of this some of this stuff not even close up but actually doing some of these training courses by all means put it in the comments below and uh, we'll definitely do some so one box two boxes three boxes four boxes and a bunch of paperwork <laughs> anyways let me know in the comments below if you'd uh, like me to go through some of these put some of these uh, training kits together and we can do them one by one together and uh, maybe learn something anyways hope you enjoyed the video and we shall chat later I'll uh, put up a part two uh, after this one we'll get up close and to uh, the parts that are in all those packages I'm sure you're interested in seeing up close and personal what a lot of those parts could be if they were to supply with those kits. Anyways, 7-3, and we'll chat later. Three next 63, we're out of here.